Porn Stars or People podcast. I'm your host, Dan Frigolette. I'm here with Annika Albright and Mick Blue, the uh, the Beyonce and Jay-Z of porn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for doing this, man. Uh, I appreciate your time. Um, You're welcome. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. How many, uh, how many AVNs have you guys been do collectively? Collective? Okay, well, I'd have to say um, this is my sixth AVN. Okay. And... This is my 11th AVN. Oh, wow. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. And you guys said you've been married four years. Yep. We've been married for four years. Actually, we first started dating at AVN's 2013. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Oh, this is a history thing. Yeah, oh, this so is it's great. kind of like our re-bonding. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. As a, as a comedian, I try to avoid dating people in my industry, but it seems like... Um, Are you friendly with uh, Kate Quigley? I don't know. I know. Who I know of. I know of Kate Quigley. She's a friend of ours. But she's where she's in L. A. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm in New York. We don't. Some reason New York <laughs> and L. A. Don't commingle. Yeah, we don't commingle too well, because <laughs> it's different goals, right? So L. A. Yeah. and New York comedically is this different goal. New York is all about just getting on stage, yeah. fucking as much as you can. And then L. A. L. A. You're trying to land a sitcom. It's a whole thing. Uh, but very cool. I'm glad. I, I, it is interesting that I do. A bunch of people are friends with comedians, and the reason why I started the podcast was I felt like. There is a, a crossover, yes, between porn and comedy. Yeah, not yeah. There, 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 there are like a few, uh, crossover. few crossovers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's and there's people that are doing both, and I think it's a si it's a similar size industry. Mm -hmm. I think it's a similar mentality of like we figured out life in a way, you know. No, maybe maybe porn is comedy. Maybe porn is comedy. <laughs> they tried that. <laughs> True. The the South Park guys tried that. They had a movie called Orgasmo. It was a funny porn. I saw that. And yeah. And it didn't do financially well. Well, I, th I think about the movie. Uh, it was called uh, "How to Make a Porno." Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the <laughs> Mimi, right? The yeah, yeah. The, uh, M Mimi and Zach make a porno. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Zach make a porno. Yes, yes. I never got to see this one, but I still I need to go back and see this one. I missed. Well, Boogie Nights was a comedy too. Yes, I think Boogie Nights is very fun and funny. <laughs> you're uh, you're the you're the encyclopedia of, of porn comedies. Uh, I appreciate that you're here. <laughs> um, so you guys are in LA. You were just telling someone that you have chickens. Yes. Now I must ask, what's the chickens thing? <laughs> um, well, when I was growing up, my mom was a high school biology teacher, and she would have, we had all kinds. I grew up in Arizona, so like I had a pet tarantula, pet snakes, no pet geckos, tadpoles. I would like, I, I had everything. And um, she got fertile chicken eggs for her classroom right. so they can put them in an incubator right. and hatch them. And I just remember how jealous I was that we couldn't bring any of them home because oh. I wanted to sit on a ch I mean, I was, I was like five years yeah, old. Yeah, so yeah. I still thought that if you sat on a chicken egg, right. it would hatch. That's solid. <laughs> but, um, that's solid biology. That was like, you know, life goals. So yeah. once we got a house, we were, you know, with a nice big backyard, I said, we're getting chicken. How, yeah. How hard of a but conversation. A lot of sitting. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would kill them. I mean, yeah. my butt's not really small. <laughs> you know, like like I mean, we we live we live in LA. I'm yeah. from Austria, and uh, getting chickens was actually just the purpose behind it was because we wanted to recreate Austria. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you grow up with chickens in Austria? <laughs> well, I mean, not necessarily, <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, but like you know, like. Um, aunts and uncles they they had farmland yeah. you know and they had chicken there yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh we used their eggs and we ate them <laughs> and i mean that's the so regular it psyche <laughs> so it was an so it was an easy conversation you didn't have to convince him no. of the chicken thing no and we both have an issue with eating eggs like for some reason store-bought eggs even okay. if they're organic why they still give us an upset stomach. Oh, no, literally. F a physical so issue. Physical issue. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we decided, you know, if we have our own chickens, we know what we're feeding them. Yeah. And we don't give them any grains. Or what do you feed chickens? Food. We give them, like, stuff with garlic in it and sunflower seeds, um, like dried bugs. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and very cool. berries. Like, yeah. they, they love that stuff. We'll give no, them um, shrimp. So. It's so funny. This is the more the more that I learn. I was telling you guys were here when I was telling Ricky. But so I'm, I'm intermittent fasting, and then I've, I basically converted my diet to sort of it's just meat and vegetables. Okay. And the more that I learn about nature and other animals, it's like yeah, like I don't give my dog grains. You like me and my yeah. dog are basically on the same diet. And then so is your chicken. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like that's how every creature is actually exactly. supposed to be eating. And when you when you feed your chicken what you would feed yourself, 
you're going to eat their eggs anyways. Right. Or if you want to eat their meat, you're going to do that too. Right. But we don't we don't eat them. Um, and so, you know, you literally... Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're my pets. See that? Yeah, that's where you run, it, that's where you run into trouble. Yeah. No, I mean... It's 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 kind of it's kind of like that, you know. It's like when you when you go into supermarket, you buy eggs. Uh, it doesn't matter which kind of eggs it is, if it's yeah. organic eggs or freeland eggs or whatever, whatnot. Yeah. You never know what's in the egg, right? Because right. Because depending what the chicken eat, right, is going to be ending up in, and in they the egg. Yeah. And they basically feed these animals whatever it takes to make them fatter. Exactly. exactly. Fatter, more eggs, you know, yeah. and all the kind of stuff, versus. You grow, or you have your own chicken. You basically you control the food you give yeah. them. Yeah, and we have a big yard too, so they can forage and yeah. They they love rose petals. They love like. The yeah, I don't know a ton of. Trees. I don't know a ton about what chickens do in their free time. They actually have personalities. Yeah, it's weird. I never thought a bird could have a personality. Yeah. No, I know people that had that that it's that, it's that it's have it's 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 chicken personality. <laughs> 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 like like I mean, they're not s they're not smart. Yeah. But they're Always, <laughs> no, not 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 I like always. I like the love, the, the overt love for chickens. You like you're like trying to defend. my chickens. <laughs> listen, they have some information. Okay, they know some things. They know some things. Well, but I they're still have chickens. Like a special bond with them. Yeah. What are because, their names? Okay. Well, one is Robbie. He's our rooster, <laughs> the okay. accidental rooster, and the other is Blondie, who is definitely Blondie for a reason. Okay. She's blonde. Ch is she but smart? She's also very she's very smart. <laughs> um, she's special. They're both special. Robbie is a gimp, and Blondie is just special in the head. Okay. Yeah. These are the two. Yes, we had three, yeah. but Lady died. Oh, she what happened? I don't know. She just. I woke up yeah. one morning and she oh, was dead. Oh, it's a sore subject. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's I've, it was like a year and a half. It was two years ago. And then wha why wouldn't so? Th and then you wouldn't eat her after she because she's your pet. Oh God, no. You can't eat your pet. No, I actually cremated her. Oh my God, on so your if own. You can imagine. On your own. No, if you can imagine yeah, though, maybe. like taking it to the place you where they cremate You took her to them, a crematorium. They're probably like, what? This person <laughs> wants me to cremate their chicken. This is crazy. <laughs> they gave I you. I have a little memorial box. No, with they her gave ashes. you. They gave you a. They gave you a box of some like some guy's leftover <laughs> ashes. There's no like. There's no. They ate Don't your chicken for sure <laughs> i actually joked about that like how fucked up would that be if they just took it home yeah there's no way Ooh. there's no way the, yeah this is <laughs> but, the but it's like it's like i mean the, the the chicken are amazing so so lady got cremated yeah sadly yeah then then for example the rooster we have first of all the roosters crow only in the morning is yeah a, is a myth it's not true no roosters crow for Whenever. everything they hear Whenever, right? It's like it's like a dog. dog yeah. It's like a dog. You know, he hear he hears the water pipe in the house. He's gonna start crying yeah. because like, hey, there's somebody in the house. You know? Yeah. It's like you come you come home at two o'clock in the morning with the car. He's like, ah, oh, there's somebody at the front yeah, door. Yeah, he yeah. cross. You know? So it's like they they crawl whenever they wanna crawl. Yeah. But uh, the rooster we have, we call him the one legged rooster. Yeah. What happened? Because when he was three months old. He thought he can fly. Oh, uh, okay. The fly, the fly. I mean, he ca he caught up a little bit. Yeah. But what he didn't calculate is, you know, if you manage to fly, you need to land. <laughs> <laughs> so what did he land and the on? Landi the landing was the problem because he his foot. because because he broke or he dislocated or whatever whatnot, he 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 messed up his foot. Yeah. So now we tried to fix it, but. You can't you can't fix the chicken leg. Is that is it is this is is this a rule? Well, we, like, we, no, like we tried we tried it we like tried it but it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't I work. I like that this would be, this would be like something somebody puts on their bu on their bumper sticker. Yeah, you, you can't, can't yeah. fix a chicken leg. You, yeah, that, that's actually cool. <laughs> that's uh, that's cool. Yeah, you guys should do that. <laughs> and so so since he's three months old, he's hopping on one leg. Yeah. Yeah. So now so now the funny story comes. He's a male. Uh -huh. He's a rooster, right? Yeah. The purpose of a rooster is to protect the female. Sure. And also to fuck the shit out of the female. Yeah. So he tried he's tried to mate with her. Uh -huh. With one but good leg. But the female the female chicken, they always uh, try to play hard. Okay. They're not like, oh let's do it, let's yeah, do it, yeah, let's yeah. do it. They are like, no, no, it's I the old rocky, the rocky want, thing. You, know? you have to chase so the chicken. You have you have to you have to chase them. You yeah. have to do tricks. Or, or you have he has to play tricks. Okay. But Till now, I'm pretty sure he was not able, you know, to fulfill it because when chicken have sex, 
They need to claw, you know, like both okay. legs on the back of to the hang chicken. on to hang on. Yeah, for leverage. And then, and then the sex. That's how I the do se- it. The sex. The sex. I I think you can go a little bit longer than the chicken, <laughs> because the chicken sex is only like about ten seconds. Ten long, seconds. Okay. And that's about it. You know? That's most sex in nature. I found this out. Lions, twenty-five seconds. Same well, thing. that's why they have 25 times sex a day. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I like how you have this lion knowledge, this lion sex knowledge. Dude, it's, it's, like, it's like if somebody says, like, yeah, you have a life like a lion, you know, it's like, <laughs> no, I can't fuck 25 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> just I once. I can eat as much. Just once for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's so, th- okay, so. How did you know that? I was, just, I was just in South Africa. We did a thing. We did, we did a whole thing. Um, <laughs> was it part of your study? We watched, well, we, we, it ended up happening. We were there, and he and he like woke right, he up, got, got up, had sex, and then he went back to sleep. And they were, they had to explain the whole life cycle. That's um, pretty legit. So that so yeah. that's, so that's what's lying to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's so okay, wait. So so wait. Are you saying now that he has successfully mated with one of the chickens and made fertile eggs? Um. You or we know, don't know. I'm we not sure. We think so. We think so, but I don't think so. Can you yeah. eat fertile eggs? Oh yeah. There's okay. not an actual baby. It's actually if you if it's a fertile egg, it's the whole blood thing is wrong. If you see like I a don't white know the blood thing. What's the blood thing? People say if there's a blood spot, it's fertile. Oh, but that's not necessarily true. If you see like a white target shape in the center of the yeah, egg, that means that's been fertilized. Okay, but that's like before it develops, so it's okay. not gonna taste different or yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, gonna yeah. Hurt anything. Okay. Yeah. So if you actually see a lot of eggs, even in you buy them at the store, right. you're gonna have that little center spot in the middle. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, you can still eat it. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And it's not cannibalism if you feed them to the chickens. What eggs? Yeah. I, uh, I posted. Do chickens eat eggs? Yeah, they love yeah, eggs. They love oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they I posted a picture of me feeding. Uh, and people freaked eggs out. My chicken, and they're yeah, like, they're "Oh, that's out. cannibalism." Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I mean, that. they 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 eat pretty much everything. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that you're well in our heads, right? Because that's what we think. Like you said, like you don't they don't eat grains, but in our heads, that's all chickens eat. But the fact that uh, you got them eating um, what insects and eggs yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, that's an interesting. Thing. So these are powerful chickens. These are chickens with like abs and stuff. <laughs> I can say Abby's oh definitely geez, very powerful. It's like, it's like he looks like Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> you should you should see. The, you know, we, the we, chicken we are planning, we are planning to make a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe that. <laughs> uh, and I really, I I'll be honest with you. I bet there is a rooster calendar out there somewhere. Oh. Sure. And and the more I'm I'm hanging out with porn stars, the more I realize that there are weird fetishes everywhere. Yes. And there's someone jerking off to chickens somewhere. Oh God. Somewhere. Or you know somebody dressed like a chicken. Yeah. yeah. Right. What do you? What do they call that? Uh, cosplay. Yeah. Cosplay. Yeah. yeah. Chicken cosplay. Jeez, like I'd fuck like a chicken. You'd fuck a chicken. I w- I would fuck a chick, but not a chicken. Like a cosplay chicken, yeah. Oh, cosplay <laughs> chicken, yeah, cosplay. yeah maybe. Yeah. As long as she has a vagina, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have one prerequisite. Uh, you need to Dude, have a vagina. I have, I, have, I, have a, I have a chicken story. <laughs> okay, tell me your chicken story. <laughs> you have many chicken stories. You, you're selling yourself short. Stories. Yes. I have a, uh, but, but you know what? It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a true fucking story. Yeah, tell it. There was... Uh, there was uh, it was now about 13 years ago, ju- just when I started to come to the States yeah. as a performer. There was a director named uh, Chico Wang. Chico Wang. Chico Wang. Yeah. Uh, he, wor- he was an Asian dude and stuff like that. And uh, he loved shooting Gonzo. But weird Gonzo. He weird. loved shooting Gonzo. Gonzo. Like yeah. uh, basically straightforward sex. Yeah. Right? And he said, like, listen, Mick, I have a scene with you with this hot Latina, you know, yada, yada, yada. I said, okay, cool. You know, he gave me the address. Mm-hmm. I drive over there, I arrive on set, and what I saw was uh, was an apartment. Uh. Was corn, okay. corn? No, was corn lying around like on the floor, real corn? like like kernels, no, like corn. Yeah, uh, not not a not an ear of corn, not growing corn, just kernels of corn laying around. Yeah, uh, the, the, the chicken, the, 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 let's say the chicken eats, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Like like chicken chicken seed yeah or whatever was right. was lying around on the floor, and 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 I hear, bark 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? I look around the corner. He had he had the girl, the Latina yeah, pretend to be a chicken. <laughs> no 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 costume. No costume. 
<laughs> he just had her, you yeah. know, on the floor, you know, like like uh, pretending to be a chicken, yeah, you know, like uh, making the sound like bark, bark, mm -hmm. bark, 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 the pecking the corn, you know, and stuff like that. Was his tease for the scene? That was the whole thing. Yeah, it, it is like he had her run around in the house, you know, pretending to be a chicken. So instead of a sexy dance and a strip tease. She had to be a chicken. She had to be a chicken, and I had to come in and fuck the chicken. So you fucked a chicken. I don't know. Five minutes ago, you said you would never fuck a chicken, and now the truth comes well, out. You've been fucking chick chickens. As long as it has vagina. Thirteen years ago, you <laughs> fucked a chicken, and you didn't tell uh, any I of got us. Busted. See the things, the things we learn. Latina chicken. The things we learn about the people that we've been with and their past. <laughs> yeah. No, that's so funny. It that's was so super funny. weird. <laughs> yeah, that sounds super weird. But she was super hot. Yeah. Well, I'm sure s plenty of people that are watching this have seen that video. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and if not, they're going to look it up now. <laughs> you go to the, is there a porn IMDb yes, that's, that's reliable? IAFD. So they can go on IAFD and then look up your name and look up Chico Bang. Chico Wang. Chico Wang. Chico Wang, yeah. And they'll, they'll find the video. Find it. It was, Do you it remember was, what it was called? Uh, I think it was a company either Diabolic or Anabolic. Do you remember what? Well, I think it would be Diabolic. Anabolic is for like steroids. No, no. No, no, no. It's like they, they were the, oh, those are, those the are company both name. Companies. The company oh, okay, name. Okay, okay, okay. Are the, the distribution company itself, you know, their name was Diabolic or Anabolic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Well, so check that yeah. out. Yeah. I'm going to go funny. research you know, that. I, I want to see it. You yeah, know, you should see so it too. It's fucking funny. You know, so, <laughs> let me, so you guys, you said you got together in 2013 in Avian. Yes. Had you worked together before? Yeah, we worked together a year prior. Yeah. So what happened? Like, what was the? I don't know. What's the moment? What's that? What's that beautiful moment? Well, he had a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. So we were never like, you know, like he's a respectful person. Sure. And when we did scenes, that was it. At the end yeah. of the scene, he would get dressed and go home. Yeah. He would never try and fuck with me or like get my number. Yeah. Um, but we always had a very strong connection during yeah. the scenes together. And um, yeah, AVN 2013 rolled around and. He uh, came up to my booth while I was signing, and he, uh, I don't know, oh, no, it was right after I had signed. I, I was on a break, and I went up to you, and you just, he kissed me, like his tongue was down my throat, and he was like, Annika! And then I was like, oh, you and your girlfriend are open? And he's like, well, no. It wa it was I, was I was talking to Manuel. Yes. And, and Annika, she came along, and I, like, uh, I turned around, and in this moment where I said, Annika, somehow... Our 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 tongues were in each That's other's mouths. Right. It's, it, it, it's like a, like a magnet, you know. It's yeah, like yeah, you put yeah. You put plus and minus together. Yeah. It, it, it sucks, sucks against each other. Yeah. And and somehow passion is passion. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I found out he was actually single. He was single. So I was like, hey, let's get lunch. Yeah. We went to Pink Tacos. Oh, very cool. Oh, literally, eat. right downstairs. We made out for 45 minutes straight oh, that's at hilarious. Pink Tacos. Uh, kissing, I mean, intermediate fasting. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, know, <laughs> I, know it's, it's, I know it's popular right now. Yeah, we said, yeah. We said, we said we can do that better. Yeah. We're just going to kiss for 45 yeah, yeah, minutes, yeah. burn a few calories. That's totally within the, it, that's within the diet, for yeah, sure. It's totally yeah, it's totally within the diet. It's, so it's not considered eating, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny and yeah. so that's four years ago wow, that's crazy so then uh i don't know how f how quickly did you progress oh actually no that was five years ago yeah five but years we've been ago. married for four years four yeah. yeah 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 interesting so you guys were uh, together one year before getting married yeah he proposed to me after three months wow yeah. very cool but very cool. when you know you know so yeah 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 <laughs> so how do you i don't know i mean you guys are both in the industry for a period of time before that how do you mm -hmm. handle I don't know uh, what's I mean what's different how do wha what changes when you get married uh, as far as what kind of work you're doing do you change anything you, you know I think we both became better performers okay because we had that support system at home yeah and we wanted to encourage each other to do like be the best yeah 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 movies. and I think it really showed because in 2015 we both won male performer of the year and female performer of the year nice and those are like you know like you know, at the Oscars, they have like the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's the bun. That's so the one. That's the, those yeah. are the ones, and it's it was the deal. first time that ever happened in history where yeah. a couple oh, no won shit. that together the same year. Fucking history makers over. I so I said Beyonce <laughs> and Jay Z. So yeah, I mean, yeah. we obviously Joe you know, DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe. Whichever one you're comfortable with. I like Beyonce and Jay Z because <laughs> they seem like they're still <laughs> they're yeah. still good. 
Yeah, I let I let my wife pick. Yeah, yeah, that's it's a smart know, man. I don't know all this American stuff, yeah. you know, but it's a smart man. So I don't know Arnold Schwarzenegger and whoever he's with. I'm trying to find your yeah, Austrian that, people. Yeah, that that's that comparison so doesn't work. No, it does. It's that good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any other famous Austrians. That's my problem. There's Arnold Schwarzenegger and then there's Mick Blue. <laughs> those, are the, those are the two. Yeah, there, there's also. Uh, oh, there's a fi- race car driver. Well, there, there are a few race car drivers. Race now, what, what's it? What, what? Yeah, yeah, I saw what this. Yes. What is the what is the name of the guy who plays in Glorious Bastards? <gasps> he, Which he, one? He won an Oscar. Fassbender. No, he he was he was the he played the. Oh yes, Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz. Yes. He's Austrian. Oh, he's brilliant. He's, he's fantastic. Brilliant. I only know three Austrians, and they're no, all brilliant. No, so no, which no, works no. out, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. No, he's one. Of, he's one of my favorites. No, it's fantastic. So wait, so your family is still in Austria? Yeah, they are still in Austria. Do you go back? Do what do you do? Do you go visit them a lot? We go visit them if we can. Once or twice a year. Yeah, yeah. Say it late. It's quite a far trip. Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, to get there. Yeah, as so a as a as a as an Arizonan, <laughs> is that a thing? Uh, what did you find fantastic about Austria? When you went the first time? Well, I just love how green it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to say the nature. It, you just don't see that, you know, here. Right, <laughs> right. In we abuse Car- everything. California, Arizona, like anywhere here in the States, you just don't see that. Yeah. All we are about are like, oh, we have land, let's build on it. Right. And out there, they want to preserve the nature. Sure. So it's a completely different just way of thinking, a w- different way of living. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And Interesting. the apples strudel. Okay, yeah, they have good food, too. The apples what? The apple strudel. The apple strudel. Okay. You yeah, know. Yeah. You know. The I don't know. Strudel. Yeah, I don't know. I know. She knows. I, I know the apple strudel. Yeah. Yeah. She knows too, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody knows the Everybody apple strudel. Everybody knows the apple strudel. How can you not know the apple strudel? <laughs> Maybe because you're from New York. No, no, no. Every time somebody puts a the on the front of a thing, I get confused. I think that's all it is. It's like a Danish. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what strudel. a I know what a apple strudel is. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, um, <laughs> the uh, what's it called? So w- what? Okay. So what else? What are other? What are other fantastic Austrian exports that we don't know about? Um, what are other exports from Austria that we don't know about? Pumpkin seed oil. Oh yeah, pumpkin black, seed oil. Like pumpkin seed oil from oh, Styria. Um, yeah, I don't know what that schnapps, is. Schnapps, but they don't have schnapps out here. No, they, 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 they don't. They don't. Schnapps. Yeah, but the American like schnapps is not. It's not a thing. No? Yeah. No? Like yeah, pe- people eat a lot of schnitzel here. Yeah. yeah, and that's kind of like an Austrian dish. Okay, all right. Hmm. Yeah. What about um? No, there's no cars from Austria. Austria is a uh, special theory is famous for uh, their white wine. Yeah, yeah. Like the the Welsh Riesling. Yeah, okay. Is, is is famous for Austria. Very cool. Yeah. And <laughs> the funny thing is a a, a very import from Austria is the sound of music. Oh, for but sure. Yeah. But the funny thing is, in Austria, nobody, nobody knows watches sound somebody. of yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really funny. He didn't even know anything about it until yeah. we started dating. And that's I was so like, funny. it's one of my it's favorite movies. Movie. Yeah. It's an American movie. Yeah, yeah. Made in Austria. It's one, it's one of like Austrians four. don't know about it. It's yeah. one of four that we like, yeah, that we hold up as like, as like the movie. Sound of Music, yes. uh, uh, Casablanca, It's a Wonderful Life, and like Wizard of Oz. And like that's, yeah. that's what we base our entire culture on. <laughs> that's funny. But the, the, the amazing thing was when we started dating, you know, she was like, I love Austria. Austria is like <laughs> because of sound of music. Right, 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 <laughs> right. It's so funny. And I didn't know it. Yeah. Well, you've seen it now. I've seen it. Yes. Is it? Is it? Uh, is it in line? Is it? Is it a no, good it representation of Austria? It, 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 it. I mean, it definitely captures the beauty and and all the all yeah. the good parts from and Austria and, and, and like, like what like you like guys uh, you guys all spin in fields and sing, right? That's part of the thing. Well, that's how we grow up. <laughs> <laughs> With all the chickens, <laughs> all, all the chickens, <laughs> right. you know, spinning in the fields. Right, everybody sings. You know, yeah. there are no That's streets in Austria. Is is all no just streets. fields? No <laughs> flowers. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. So okay, so uh, well, uh, one, and one thing is encouraging each other as performers, and that's and that's important, and, and having somebody that you can confide in, that's important, right? Uh, so that's something you guys brought to each other. But I don't know, th- did you guys feel the need to change um, the types of scenes that you were working on after um, you got married or were in a relationship, or how did that work? No, not really. You know, actually, there was one thing I stopped doing. I stopped doing cream pie scenes with other guys. Okay. For yeah. obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, but other than that, no, we didn't change anything. Yeah. 
I find I find that people in this industry have a, have just a better understanding of relationships and sexuality than than civilians. Yeah. And you know, uh, uh, civilians, I think a lot of people use relationships as sort of a possessive thing. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of jealousy in it. And I, I envy the fact that people in this industry have sort of figured out how to remove that aspect of, of a relationship. Because that's the most toxic part of a relationship. Yeah. And you guys are sort of skipping over that part. And it's that's, it. that's the thing. It's because what we do is a job. And when, you're, when you perform, you have to learn how to separate the your feelings and yeah. that, that side of things from your work. Right. Because that's the only way you can be successful. Right. And... When it comes to relationships, a lot of people who have mastered that in their work life carry it over into their relationship life, and I think it makes your relationship stronger. Yeah, for sure. But you have to, you have to do that what you like. Yeah. You know, and the the things you do in scenes or you don't do in scenes need to be your personal choice. Sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing. It, it is interesting because as a as just a person who uh, you know has sex in in the streets. You know, outside of the industry, what happens is, I don't know what what I may be allowed to do in this mm -hmm. in in the scene. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta we gotta like navigate the the whole circumstance throughout. You gotta like try stuff. You're like, should I? Can I choke you a little bit? You have to try all the stuff. Whereas you guys walk in the room, you fill out the checklist. Yeah. You go, this is the nine things we're gonna do today, and you do the <laughs> things. And it's it's far more healthy than me having to like tiptoe and be like, Sh I don't know. Do you want me to put my thumb? Like, it's like a it's a much worse environment out there. And the Communication is stronger too. Cause you Way have to stronger. Have the communication when you're doing a scene. And right. We don't like. I know some companies have like a storyboard of what they're gonna do. But sure. Like when it comes to most Gonzo scenes, the actors talk about it before. Right. And they say, okay, here's my test. So we both make sure that you know we're up to date in our testing. And what are your yeses and nos? What do you like? What do you don't want me to do? Right. And that's really important because then during the scene, it can just flow. Yeah. You want to just have it flow. You don't want to have any awkwardness. Yeah. Do you know yeah. like do you understand how like how weird it would be if I got a girl home where on like a fourth date and I go, "Listen, what things are we allowed to do?" Like on the couch beforehand, you know what I mean? I I I found it in my life that like having um that having like text sex with a girl before before I have physical interaction with her actually helps because of those reasons cuz in text then they'll be like I want you to choke me and you figure out like the couple things that people are into cuz cuz you've you've communicated it and it's sort of a cheat right to True. to get to yeah. to have text sex and then do the thing but then you find out what you know what kind of thing you you should be in, you're going to be involved in yeah yeah like um i don't actually don't think i ever did text sex i i think if it comes I down don't think so. if it comes down to the sex you you, you need to go with with your feelings sure mm -hmm. you know what i mean because even like uh, for example you you can come on set on set and, and the girls are like yes i want to be choked and all the kind of yeah. stuff you know uh but it doesn't necessarily mean like really that right that that, that, you, that you really want to be choked right 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 like you, you know, you know right. I mean? so on their sometimes, neck. sometimes girls can say like because they saw it in a movie yeah you know, right, or something right. like this like yeah i want to do this or they want to impress you right yeah. But they are not really okay with that. Right, right. And that's something uh, where, y where you have the responsibility. It doesn't matter on set or in your private life you that, you that. that you identify that, you know. Yeah, for and sure. And, and kind of like have your feelers out and, and don't push the boundaries farther than she would be okay with. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, so, so it's, it's kind of like, kinda like you're, you're always, even if you have checklists or no checklists, you always have to fill it out and play it on the go. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well have, have passionate organic sex. Like putting putting fingers in the butthole, you know, it's like uh, you you're never gonna jam it in just right. Right, right. <laughs> right. But it's like you know, you put you put a little spit on the, on on the finger, start rubbing it, you know, like See rub it, like. rub it in a circle <laughs> for a minute or two, you know, it's just like. Well, okay, then switch directions. If, uh, no, it might it might you might have to wind the clock counterclockwise. Exactly, you don't know. You know, uh, try try to spin the clock one way or the <laughs> other. Use the <a> tongue, <laughs> you know. And like like if her magic hand doesn't come back you know to move it away it's like okay maybe yeah. it's just okay with it you know then, then you kind of like rub it a little bit deeper yeah of course and then yeah, and then, yeah. and then oh, if, if, if it's inside and the hand still is not it's there it's, it's always trial okay. and error oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know so, so it's kind of like you you, g you go with the feel you know you, yeah, you go with the play and and see, see what's happening you yeah know? And it's like yeah. for yeah. sure yeah, but it is it, it 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 is sort of there's some freedom to really to to having that level of communication. I think that's 
I think that's what I think that's what your industry is like. Let's figure it out. And as comedians, we try to do that. We try, you know, we try to talk about these things and we try to uh, break into categories of things that people don't feel like they can talk about. And that's sort of I don't know. I I just think both of our industries are sort of like uh, constantly evolving the conversation. Yes. I do find it interesting, and I find it da- not dangerous, but but possibly problematic that there is a whole level of fetish industry that almost can make it so that someone can uh, can get what they want from porn and then never get it in their real life. Because if they feel like it's a taboo, then maybe they won't ask their wife for that thing. Yeah, and then they're closing off that to their right. their marriage. Yeah. yeah, what they could actually have in real life. Right, right, yeah. right. So I find so I find that I find that as is an interesting problematic uh, idea. Oh, let's plug this thing real quick. You're, you're drinking the Celsius drink. Oh God, there's still some left. He almost drank all of it. I know. Isn't yeah, this is the, this is fun relationship <laughs> moment. <laughs> I, w- I saw you watching him. You were you were like you're like it's my fucking it's my fucking drink. It's my fucking drink. It's my fucking drink. No, we have like twelve more cans of this back in the room, so I'm good. We're not gonna drink all twelve of them. That would be too much. So you were pl- but you're plugging this. Let's, let's, okay, yeah. let's plug so it. This, this is a <coughs> this is Celsius. It's all natural and I'm just gonna read the side for them. Okay. No artificial flavors. No fructose corn syrup. No preservatives. No artificial fla- uh, colors or flavors. No artificial sweeteners. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Drinking Celsius prior to fitness activities proven energy accelerant metabolism burn fat and calories. It anyway, does. so you swear by this. This is this I swear is cool. By it. Yeah. So it's natural coffee, natural coffee bean extract, which has caffeine in it, glucosamine, ginger extract, all these things. Yeah, and it doesn't make me feel sick or make me feel jittery. Right. Yeah, it's no sugar. Awesome, and I always drink one of these before my workouts. Yeah. Or if I just need to pick up, it's it's great. I love nice. it. Yeah. And they have sparkling and non-sparkling. And you got him on yeah. it now. No, I got him on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like he said, <laughs> like he said, just listen to his wife. I don't drink energy drinks. You don't drink energy drinks? I drink coffee. Coffee. That's his energy drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not not coffee, espresso. Yeah, yeah, he's from he's from Austria. Right, and not or as Americans would say, espresso. Yeah, right, espresso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. espresso. I'm with I'm with you on this. I'm with you on this. Well, I'm a so how you cook I'm coffee in New York? Well. Oh, espresso, no? Espresso? No, we. I mean, I. I honestly like drinking. So you're gonna say coffee. espresso or espresso? no? No X. No X. Espresso. espresso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? We were in Wisconsin one time, and I, and they I think said, and like, they think no, that's I, a word. I, I said to the lady, I said, "Can I please have a double espresso macchiato?" Yeah. And she's like, "Oh, you mean espresso yes. macchiato?" My buddy, my his, my buddy uh, was <laughs> working. <laughs> he was working for a flum. <laughs> He was uh, he was working for a flamenco company, and he told it to a lady. Uh, you know, it's it's the Spanish dance. And he told it to a lady, and she goes, "Oh, you mean flamingo?" Oh, and he was <laughs> like, "Oh, oh no, yeah, no, no. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean flamingo. Yeah, I mean a flamingo. Let me have my espresso. Yeah." <laughs> yeah, is at some point you can't argue with everybody. No, so you, you, like you can't. You can't better than somehow. Yeah. Somehow, correcting someone becomes more of a of an offensive thing than than yeah. than the offense that they're putting on you by saying the thing wrong. I don't know how we got to that place. It's. I think it's in general. Our whole society is very. PC. We defend everyone yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's kind of like uh, yes, I have an accent. Yes, I'm from Austria, and I don't know how to pronounce. Espresso oh, that's corrected. what you think was happening? <laughs> oh, okay, sure. sure. She's like, I don't know what this accent is. Clearly, he must be autistic or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I've never heard this accent He must before. be from Australia. He's not from, he's from some place that I don't understand because the U.S. has never bombed it. We don't know where that place is. That's fun. That's funny. Um, all right, well, shoot. Um, you, you guys are, are great. I'm glad that I got to have you both on. Do we want to plug? How do we find you on social media? Um, you can find me on Twitter at Annika Albright. That's one N and two Ks, A L B R I T E. I am also on Instagram at a lot of bright smiles uh, for obvious reasons. <laughs> and oh, and I also have I have an OnlyFans account too, okay, so you can very find cool. me there. So you can find me next to Annika Albright. <laughs> <laughs> wherever, she, wherever she's standing, where I go, he's close behind me. Whatever, where whatever she goes, decisions she I makes, am. he just co-signs those decisions. I have whatever my wife says. I have no rights. <laughs> <laughs> Although he still hasn't agreed to a horse, that's something I've been pushing. Oh, and pushing. 
Ho- having a horse in LA is is a challenge. That's it's true. It's having a horse in general, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a very big challenge. Yeah. Um, it's a huge responsibility. Yeah. 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 No, uh, you can you can find me uh, Instagram and Twitter under MickBlueXXX, I believe. Uh, and you know there is a fantastic search engine. It's called Google.com. Yeah. If you if you put my name put in my name there, in you'll find it. Yeah, you've reached you'll the find pi- a lot. Yeah, you've reached the pinnacle. Yeah, you're you're at the place where you can just put your name in and it comes up. Uh, yeah, not so everybody's so hit something gonna come up. Yeah. Not every yeah, not everybody's hit that. Not everybody's hit that threshold. But you you're there. Yeah, you can put your name in and and see the work. Yeah, but a, I, out of all of them, I I prefer Instagram. There's a beautiful film where he uh, he makes passionate love to a chicken. So you need to check that out. That's very fun. And I also wanted to add, I have a flashlight. I'm an official flashlight oh, girl. Oh God, that's very cool. So I have a joke about the flashlight it's my favorite awesome. it's my favorites. Yeah. yeah you guys can have sex with me and yeah. uh you can get my can i say pussy whatever you want you can have sex with my pussy you can have sex with my asshole yeah i don't care it was molded directly from me and uh fantastic. for your pleasure fantastic and i'm okay with it <laughs> 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 that's true uh, so check them out and it's amazing i've tried it many times have you tried it yes of course it's the same it's I love is it. It the same I like the idea that I like the idea that you walk in and he's just like busy with the flashlight and he's like, listen, no, I'll listen, I'll listen I'm, 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 I'm fucking on a call right right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you give me some privacy, please? <laughs> she doesn't like to be. You don't want the real thing. <laughs> I like that idea. That's very fun. Uh, we are on iTunes. We are on Google Play. Wherever you found us, we're on the other thing. There's some fun content today on YouTube that we have up. Follow these guys on the web. I want to I want to import this this uh, this point again because I forget to some times uh please pay for your porn uh you come to a conference like this and you realize that there are uh there's content out there that hasn't been properly vetted hasn't been properly given royalties and attributions uh if you didn't pay for your porn chances are the performer did not reach the money didn't reach them uh so if you have somebody you like and you have somebody that you follow make sure they get your money uh only fans is a good way to do that yeah. Oh, um, that's great. Buying her uh, her pocket pussy is a way to do that. <laughs> is it my flashlight? Shout out flashlight. This is the best way. <laughs> I, I, I can. I, I just love it. <laughs> it's like the, the closest you can get to the original. Yeah, yeah. So cultivate that fan base. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. We drop an episode every Sunday. Uh, please listen. We'll try to bring you good content whenever we can. Thank you so much.